Hey, second graders, welcome back for your 14th lesson of the year. So last week, we started talking about big, strong emotions coming on that our body gives us clues to let us know. And we talked about um, stop, name your feelings, and calming down with belly breathing. If you remember, we watched a little video on Brandon. Brandon was telling us that with belly breathing, it's that slow breath in through the nose, mm -hmm. out through the mouth. We also talked about handling mistakes. And again, mistakes happen, mistakes are okay. The important thing is that we learn from them. This week, we are talking about a pretty big emotion, I think, and it is feeling anxious. Anxious is a mixture of nervousness and worry all clumped together in one big uncomfortable emotion. Mm -hmm. It can make our bodies feel really uncomfortable. And when we're feeling anxious, a lot of the time it's up here too. Negative self-talk starts creeping in, thinking the worst possible scenario. Because that's the thing when we feel anxious, we don't know how something is going to end. And we, oh, we might think the worst possible scenario out of it. And is that gonna make us feel better? Not really. So this week with Mrs. Marissa, we're gonna be talking about a girl named Leah. Take it away, Mrs. Marissa. Yes, we are. I was looking over at my dog because he has severe anxiety, which is what we're talking about today. And I, he was about to start barking. <laughs> All right, but we are a-okay. He, he took a belly breath and now he's nice and calm. So. Yeah. Right there, we have Leah, and today is a very big day for Leah. It is her turn to present her science project, which is a volcano, volcanic eruption demonstration, right? Wow. Yes, yeah, so she's supposed to go in front of the whole class and present this volcano, volcanic eruption. So let's look at her face. Let's look at her body. We know what the situation is. What do we think she's feeling? Well, she is feeling worry and she is feeling nervous, which Miss Sarah just told us is being a or feeling anxious. So she has this anxious feeling going on um, about presenting this project. Give me a thumbs up if you have ever felt a mix of worried and nervous. Mm-hmm. My dog feels it all day, every day, right? And it is, it is okay. Everybody feels anxious sometimes, but sometimes the feeling is so strong and so big that our body feels very uncomfortable and we just can't think straight, right? So when this happens, we have learned that we need to calm down. We have gone over three steps so far. Stop. So you got this feeling going on, you say stop. You name your feeling and then you calm down, right? Last week with our good friend, Brandon, we learned about that belly breathing, right? So that's what Leah needs to do. So Leah decides to use her stop signal. So she says stop, she names her feeling. She says, I am feeling anxious or I am feeling worried and nervous at the same time. And then she takes a belly breath. So let's take a belly breath with Leah. Let's breathe slowly in our nose, out our mouth. One more time, slowly in our nose, and out our mouth. So Leah feels calm for a second, but then she starts to have these negative thoughts going on in her brain, which is called negative self-talk. So she starts thinking to herself, oh, my volcano is never going to erupt. I'm not ready to do this. I can't do this. And that anxious feeling is completely back. She's, she's feeling like she might explode. Not the volcano, but her. So now she needs to do something called switching this negative self-talk into something positive. So she needs to think some good thoughts. Now, what are some things or some things that you could say to yourself or I got this, I can do this, depending on the situation. So I want um, Leah right now to think of something specific she could say to herself. 
So something that applies to her. Remember, the situation is she's worried that her volcano won't erupt. And she's going to be there in front of the whole class. And that might be a little bit embarrassing, right? All right, so let's think. Hmm, what could Leah say to herself? Hmm. She could say, I got this. I studied or I practiced and I studied really hard. My volcano is going to erupt. So she's not telling herself it isn't. It is. So now that she is nice and calm and thinking clearly because she used her positive self talk, she gets up in front of the whole class and guess what? Her volcano erupted. Then she's got a big old smile on her face. Yay! <laughs> Leah. All right. Um, so with that positive self-talk that we learned today, remember, it's telling yourself that you got this, you can do this, um, it's going to help that feeling to calm down. It's going to make you feel better, especially when you have an anxious feeling going on. So let's practice this. I have two scenarios that I'm going to read. So remember, a scenario is a situation that could happen to you. So you guys, I thought you were going to sneeze for a second, Sarah. Uh, <laughs> um, so a scenario or yeah, made up situation. Um, so the two scenarios, you guys at home, think of something positive that you could say to yourself if you were in this situation. And Miss Sarah is going to um, do the same. So she'll tell us what positive self-talk she comes up with for our scenarios. So scenario one, Miss Sarah, let's okay. pretend you are last up to kick in the kickball game. Okay. <laughs> Score is tied. You're worried you'll let down your team. What is something positive you could say to yourself to make yourself feel better? Honestly, with my kickball team, if the score was tied, we would still be excited if we lost. So I'm going to tell myself, no matter what, this is all for fun. Just do your best. I we like made it farther than we've made it before. <laughs> Miss Sarah actually plays kickball. So that was a perfect scenario for her. <laughs> so I know in her next kickball game, she will be thinking that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do one more. <clears throat> um, it is your first time riding the bus home from school, and you're anxious about missing it. Okay. Missing it home from Missing the bus. To, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll tell myself um, it's going to be okay. I know the other busters in my class. I just have to follow them out to the bus. And if I don't know where to go, I know there's teachers outside that I can talk to. Ooh, I like it. Way to think positive, Miss Sarah. Thank you. What were you guys thinking at home? Hmm. Um, all right. So before we go, remember to um, use your positive self-talk. Your challenge is any negative thought you have going on this week. I want you to switch it to something positive and see how you feel, see how it helps you. And Miss Sarah is going to wrap it up for us. All right, so we talked about another way to calm down today, which is the positive self-talk. So it's saying something good to yourself, whether it is to calm yourself down, to pump yourself up. Maybe it's like making, you know, planning ahead to make yourself feel better. Um, I personally like pairing positive self-talk with the belly breathing. So that way it's just like a double whammy on top of that strong emotion to calm down. Um, another thing with uh, feeling anxious, sometimes positive self-talk may not be enough. So I am always like if, if I need or if I need the extra help talking to somebody, somebody that you trust for either just another ear to listen to you, or maybe they can help you out or offer you some advice. So never forget, trusted adult or talking about how you're feeling is also a really good way to handle the situation. All right, before we go, we got your famous calm down song. And I'm looking forward to when we can do this together in person. Oops, mm -hmm. I'm pulling it up and I didn't even share the screen, so you didn't even see that. <laughs> All right, sharing the screen, enjoy it, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, 
first though, I need some robot poses. You guys give me a robot pose? How about you? Yeah. Ready for some music? Yeah. Pop your feeling, brain takes hold, and you could flip your lid. Stop, you got to think it through. Just calm it down like this. Stop and name your feeling on Stop and name your feeling on Stop and name your feeling on Every day we can have strong feelings, strong emotions that send us reeling. But there are steps we can take to calm down. These are the keys to turn things around. Just stop and name your feeling. Turn on your brain. Start thinking, not just feeling. Calm down. Do some breathing.